eggs for breakfast. I did. Because you stink, you really Good evening, I'm Rick Bob. And I'm Bob Daly. And you're watching... What's Happening? Heavy Metal. And on tonight's news... Dinosaur Pilot have returned from their whirlwind, worldwide, smash-out, sell-out, break-out, balls-out tour of the European continent, supporting none other than the Pixies. Having wowed crowds in Amsterdam, Frankfurt, Brussels, Paris, and Paris, the band then left the Pixies, only to join forces with Dan and Anna Aykroyd and rock it out across the UK. Having bulldozed Britain, the band then blitzed London's Coco Club, sailed to Dublin, and took a plane to Barcelona in heavy turbulence. Finally touching down on British soil for the Christmas holidays, the band were swamped by the world's press among rumours that the break-in tour was a deliberate move to get Matt Bigland into the studio to record the band's debut album. Our man Mitch Furlong broke the exclusive. Mitch. Just one word. Mitch, thank you. In other news, leading environmental scientists have made a direct link between the rise in sea levels and global temperatures to UK rock band Dinosaur Pileup. <laughs> There's that name again. With temperatures rising to dangerously high levels at Dinosaur Pileup's live performances, it has prompted the US President Barack Obama to politely ask the band to cool down their volcanic live shows. The Commander-in-Chief later revealed that Dinosaur Pileup's The Most Powerful EP in the Universe is a regular feature at the Oval Office, as he can't get enough of those drums. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> mm. The band have refrained from commenting on the issue. However, it has been rumored that Steve Wilson has told friends that he'd have to be frozen, naked, in a giant block of ice, underneath a hundred-foot-tall freezing waterfall, between the jaws of a giant, Six-foot ice bear, eating blocks of ice, in an ice castle, naked, before he would cool off any live show. Some yeah. might say, some like it cold. In other news, Marty McFly has done it again. <laughs> this time headlining the Enchantment Under the Sea dance, the pint-sized superstar wowed crowds with covers of Dinosaur Pileup's Trainor and Beach Bug. Playing to an audience of his future mother, father, and high school principal, McFly commented, I guess you guys aren't ready for that yet, but your kids are gonna love it. Our man Mitch Furlong was present at the gig and recorded these images. Uh, no, I don't Come on, man. Let's do something that really cooks. Something that really cooks. All right. All right. Uh, all right. This is uh, this is an oldie, but uh, well. It, it's an oldie where I come from. All right, guys, uh, listen to the blues riff and B. Watch me for the changes and try and keep up, okay? We now go live to the weather wonder that is Ted Thunder. Ted. I'm sorry, did, did you say two one then? Got 32 degrees, 40 degrees, 26, 41, 55, 53, 68, 77. Cloudy, 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 cloudy. Kidney bean. Holy fuck. Oh. Well, that pretty much wraps it up for us tonight. Here's a look at our stories for tomorrow. In a recent interview with WHHM, we asked Sly Stallone about his recent praise for Dinosaur Pileup. 
Jean-Claude Van Damme raids DP's EP 10 out of 10. And we catch up with Michelle Obama and find out why she can't stop listening to Cat Attack. I've been Rick Bob. And I've been Bob Daly. Catch you next time. Ciao.